Saint of the Day with Father Anthony Casamento. Blessed Francis Silos. Francis Silos was born in Germany in 1819. He was named after Saint Francis Xavier, the famous Jesuit missionary. When he was a little boy, Francis' mother asked him what he was going to do when he grew up. He answered by pointing at a picture of his name saint and saying, I'm going to be another Saint Francis. Francis took the first steps toward his goal by studying philosophy and theology in Germany. While at university, he learned about the Redemptorists, an order of priests whose mission was to work with German-speaking immigrants in the United States. Francis immediately joined the order. It wasn't long before he sailed for America, where he began his studies for the priesthood and was ordained in 1844. Francis was assigned to a parish in Pittsburgh. His first pastor was another famous missionary who would eventually be canonized, St. John Newman. Newman was a powerful influence on the young priest. He showed Father Francis the importance of working among his people, as Jesus did. Even after he left the parish, Newman continued to be Father Francis' spiritual advisor. Over the next several years, Francis took on responsibilities in the Redemptorist Order, but he continued an active ministry with normal people. Father Francis was able to speak three languages and celebrated the sacraments in all those languages, reaching out to as many people as possible. People came from miles away to celebrate reconciliation with him because of his kindness and understanding. After working in at least 10 different states, Francis was assigned to New Orleans. In addition to the usual work of a pastor, Francis worked tirelessly among the poor and neglected, especially when an academic spread through the city. Worn out from ministering to others, Father Francis could not fight off the disease himself. He was only 48 when God called him into everlasting life. Pope John Paul II declared Francis Silos blessed in 2000. I'm Father Anthony, and that was Saint of the Day. For more episodes, go to cranio.org.au.